I am awake, and I've just noticed that I have 50 subscribers on my YouTube page, and as I prom promised, I will make a full tutorial series on how to make a mobile game for Android or, or iOS, but I won't be able to publish it or show you how to do that, because I can't really do iOS, because it's too damn complicated, I mean it's too damn inaccessible, unless you're a rich millionaire. Back to the point, I am going to show you how to make an entire game in Armour 3D, and to do that I'm first going to make this first episode explaining what we're going to cover in this tutorial series. Now I'm thinking that the, ep the episodes, the series will be about, about, about 10 episodes long, I want to cover as many things as possible. And to do that, I am, first of all, like I said, going to explain uh, what we're going to do. So, I've already made a tutorial on how to install Armory 3D a few weeks ago. I've made a few tutorials on YouTube for Armory 3D. Some of them worked. So, for example, my um, build to APK worked quite well. And, uh, well, I've decided that this channel will be dedicated to Armory 3D tutorials because it's so impressive that this small add-on is able to make such incredible games and, and applications and, and things like that and I'm so angry that not not many people know about this because this is really amazing and, and the guy who made this he deserves a lot of credit so if you do have the means then please go donate to his page uh, I however do not have the means to do that so I have not donated so I'm very sorry so please donate for me and can <laughs> Now, just really, this this is incredible, and I'm going to show you how to use it to the best of my abilities. And uh, so, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. So, without further ado, let's get right into what we're going to do. So, we have a new Blender page open with the Armor 3D add-on already installed. As you can see, we have a bunch of new things. I've already covered this before, but I'm going to tell you about what you're going to learn. So, we're going to make a rather simple, low poly styled game for Android with really simple, uh, lightweight, fun game with. Uh, we're going to cover things like lighting, colors, UV textures, sound effects, uh, well, obviously, logic uh, with the logic nodes, and we might be covering a bit of hacks. Although I'm not a coder, I do not know hacks, but I can look at a piece of code and modify it and try to figure out what works and what doesn't just try changing a few numbers anybody can do that but like I said I'm not a coder I don't really enjoy um, the um, coding I like visual scripting because I don't have all these syntax errors and it's much faster and you, you know exactly what what is available to you because you can see all the nodes so what I wanted to do is sort of a crossy road inspired low poly style game and instead of a like a road with cars, we are going to have a long sort of cube, a rectangle, a huge rectangle, with walls, uh, which will be extrusions from that rectangle. And our little player is going to constantly be moving along, we'll have no control over that. And when we click on the screen, the uh, platform that he'll be on will rotate on a certain degree, on a certain um, angle. And uh, he needs to avoid uh, all the obstacles, and he needs to get all the coins. Uh, I'm going to hopefully implement things like main menus, level selectors, different levels, uh, a death screen, a sound sound effects, lighting, texturing, all that I've already said. Uh, but I really want to make an entire game and record it and stream it like um, onto um, YouTube. Well, not stream it, but upload it onto YouTube. So you can see the exact process that I went through to make this game and at the end I'll probably have a finished project on the Android Play Store. Like I said, this is an Android game, but it can be exported uh, to Windows, um, to HTML5, which I've already made a two tutorials on how to do that, one to export it, one to host it, and uh, well, I was going to make a tutorial on how to embed it on your own website, but Anybody can do that, you can find a tutorial online so I decide not to bother. Uh, but thanks to Army 3D's one click solution to export to hundreds of different, well not hundreds, but nearly every single different platform that you can think of, uh, it's very easy to export this kind of game anywhere. So um, yeah, this is my first introduction to what the tutorial series will be about. 
and hopefully you will stay to the end and subscribe to my channel to be able to get notified every single time I drop a new video. Uh, now I'm, I don't want to upload any other video than the tutorial series right now. I think I might upload two, one or two separate videos apart from the tutorial series but I'm going to try and upload them as fast and as soon as I can but I don't have very much time. So please subscribe to get notified of that and ring the bell. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial series.